actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or a person. Upon discovering that damage or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days, or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached, and the carpets have been replaced, blah blah blah. Now that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night.
quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come on stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active than he ever remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon!
people don't last this long. I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. Uh, I'm not implying that they die. That, that, that's not what I meant. Uh, anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are getting real tonight. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to stuff a mental skeleton into you. I wonder how that would work. Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side.
Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 